this hero may have went from the worst hero in battles to to the best and i'm going to show you how strong churchill is in this video <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls our first match of the video is against my man urtos on the map house ruins and i'm going to strategy of heli alkin ninja so should be a fun matchup here let's get it rolling boys let's get it rolling let's get it rolling you know what i'm saying start off with some eco here you know what i'm saying and then we'll get my heli down right here perfect they're going Churchill here, or Sentai Churchill, so I'm curious as to what their strategy is. I am curious as to what they are bringing here. We'll have to wait and see. Looks like we're going to make them leak early game, which is fantastic. That's exactly what we want. Exactly what we want. That's why we sent those blue balloons before we sent red balloons, because it's easier to make them leak if they're going to Churchill start with the blue balloons sent first. So that's exactly why I sent like that. And then we'll get my... um down here pretty soon also if you guys can see right now i'm doing a different setup with my microphone so my new headset that i'm using has a worse mic right so um well it's not even a new headset it's an old headset that i have it has a worse mic so i'm using my um headset that broke's mic currently and then i'm just using the the new one for the audio because the mic on the old headset that broke is the the mic on the headset that broke still works right so i can use that it's around my neck right now and then use the um, other one for the audio is the idea here. So 200 IQ plays for Martin Mahalik. Let's get the squad darts up. Puts on last. Perfect. I'm thinking he's going super NG. Um, I think I'm thinking he's going Sentai Churchill super NG farm here. So this should be an interesting matchup. I've never really faced this strategy on this map. So um, I'm curious how to how this is going to go. We do have the life advantage, which is huge here. But they are going to have fantastic farms. So that's something we have to deal with as well. They are going to have very very good farms here. So yeah, but. We will wait and see. We'll wait and see how this goes. I mean, I'm interested to see how this matchup will play out. I am interested, ladies and gentlemen. I want to know. Let's place my farm. Let's place my balloon bot, though. We place these every single time, even if I'm not using them in my strategy. Like, Ryan, you don't have a farm in your strategy, and you never use the balloon bot. Why do you place it? Because it takes up an ability slot, guys. It moves my abilities all out of whack, and I do not like it. I do not like it. So we place it no matter what. Um, send them some greens here. They're sending me white balloons. All right. They're, they have heli. Oh. So, they do have life rejuvenation, but they don't have a late game. Like, I guess it could be heli super farm, right? But I don't think that's going to be very good late. Because you don't have overclocks or for farms and stuff. But I'm thinking it's I'm thinking it's heli super farm Churchill right now. That's what I'm thinking they got, they got here. You're not going to get near as good farms, though, as Engineer. With that strategy, because one heli is not as good at defending round um at defending round thirteen rushes than engineer is, because you don't have like an alt buff for the heli, and two engineer makes you money from the scent balloons. Engineer has the balloon trap money. Engineer overclocks your farm, so yeah, they're gonna have a lot less money here. They will be able to take it past round forty, but I'm not even sure if they like I don't know, because they have life rejuvenation their strategy, but I don't think it's gonna be very good for them. I don't think it's going to be very good. Chat. We'll have to wait and find out, though. They got their plantation up. Hold on. Wizard. Okay, never mind. It's Wizard. They don't even have any late game whatsoever. All right. So they've got to play aggro against me. 100%. I thought they had super. They've got to play super aggro against me to be able to make something out of this match. Fair enough. Fair enough. Their farms are pretty solid, but that's also because these rounds are getting stalled a decent bit. But yeah, they have solid farms. I'm not going to lie. They're going to get double plant here, most likely. They're sending me region zebras, which could have a rotors here. We're full chilling now. Get up my alchemy tower right there. Acidic mixture dip. Perfect. So that top heli. We can afford this berserker brew if he rushes. They're greeting really hard, but I can't really punish them. So we kind of just have to let them be at the moment, which is fine. That's kind of how the matchup goes sometimes, guys. All right, one more income boost. I'll get up my alk buff. My stronger stem. Perfect. 
No, we max eco. He's sending me a rush. Pad ability this. We're good. We're good, we're good. They're dead. All right, I'll catch y'all next game. Dude, that Alk buff, that, you can see how much that pad ability with the freaking Razor Rotors and Alk buff defends. That's actually crazy. I defend that entire Rigo Rush and the camos and stuff with it. Alright guys, our next match of the video is against Meta User DC. So I don't know if this means disconnect or um, don't care, but either way, they say they are a Meta User. So they're starting with the tax tree right there. Um, going Quincy and Tax. So they're going to a very aggressive strategy here, which is going to be interesting. We are going Sentai Churchill, Engineer, Super Farm. So it should be a fun fun matchup. Let's get it. Let's get it. Um, two income boosts. I'll get my Sentai Churchill down. So let's place my Farmer and place my Balloon Bot. As always, ladies and gentlemen, you know the vibes there. You know the freaking vibes. All right, put some last for a couple shots, and then we'll mark micro to first targeting, and we'll micro to last targeting, and we'll micro to first targeting, and we'll micro to last targeting, and we should be full vibing. Can I do this leak this, guys? Can I can I manage to do leak this with a Churchill start without a boost? Oh, that's I am the best player in the game. Look at those, look at that micro targeting, bro. I'm crazy like that. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Okay, they got their tax tree. They got a Quincy down. They're probably um. They upgraded their tax shooter all the way to the blade shooter already, so they're definitely trying to anti-stall. You can see that because um, they are upgrading more than they need to, to just defend the balloons. They're trying to defend the balloons really quickly. So when these rounds get short, so then I get less money is basically the idea there with why they placed the tax shooter at the very bottom and why they upgraded it so much. So it makes sense. It makes sense here. But what they don't know is that my strategy will still probably win because this strategy is absolutely broken on this map, guys. This strategy is insane on this map, so we will see. We will see, though. Some people were telling me the strategy is pretty good on Oasis, too. So I definitely want to try the strategy out on Oasis. Let me know if you want to see the strategy on Oasis, because it's an interesting strategy, you know? You don't really see Engineer or Super Monkey played much overall. So, And same with Sentai Churchill. It's like three towers you barely see any play with, all in the same strategy. And it actually works somehow, so it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. All right, White Balloons. I'm going to use Churchill ability early, and so then we can cycle it again, because it comes back pretty quickly. Uh, actually, let's go for this real quick, just to buy me some time. We'll go, we'll go for a oversized nails. That'll that'll help me out. Okay, he actually stopped sending. They could have forced more if they sent more, but it's all good. They're going to send me black balloons most likely. Yep. The thing is here, we just use that Sentai ability when things get scary. When things get scary, we just use that Sentai ability. And it'll clear the map. I want to save up for this plantation. So that's what I'm doing. I want to save up for that plant. Ladies and gentlemen. That plantation nation. Alright. You have to use ability. Perfect. Let's get centuries up now. We're vibing. Perfect. That Sentai level 3 ability is so nuts, guys. You can see, like, you see how much of a difference it makes when the ability is active. It just absolutely clears your side. It's so good. It's so good. And it comes back on cooldown pretty quickly, too. Like, it's got a pr pretty quick, pretty quick, um, cooldown there. Let's go for another farm. Perfect. Send him some zebras here. Increased eco, you know what I'm saying. Faster engineering. We'll get sprockets up here in a sec. And then once you got the turret helping you out too, oh man, oh man. Once you got that turret in there as well, ladies and gentlemen, it just gets, it gets freaky, bro. Let's sell this though. Let's go for the fourth tier engineer. Okay, we're good. I need to get this up. Perfect. We're chilling. They got a they got a reactor down. Well done. They need to submerge it though. You need to submerge your reactor. Yeah, there you go. There you go. He figured out how to do it. Well done. And now we just keep it going. My defense now is very, very strong, so it's gonna be hard for them to get through. Once you got this, like, he's trying to rush me. Okay. They're trying to send me camos. See, the crazy part about the cleansing foam is, like, 
it can cleanse a lot of zebra balloons really easily. What it can't cleanse well is like grouped yellows, group pinks, because it's like more dense but less like less overall balloons because it's less layers. But if you're sending me like group yellows, group pinks, my Churchill will just absolutely shred it. So it's like, what's the point, you know? Also, that rush, dude, it's crazy how much this defends. Look at that. I didn't even need to use Churchill ability. That's actually nuts. That's actually nuts. Holy cow, bro. This is broken. Like once you have this down, you don't need anything else for a while. We just keep back. We just keep echoing here, guys. We just keep on echoing. They're sending me another rush, but one of these on strong probably. Churchill ability. We'll boost. We're good. We're good. A little bit of a targeting on the cleansing foam. And we send them some purples and they're dead. GG's. Alright, yeah, dude. <laughs> Man, it feels good to defend those rushes, bro. Churchill is crazy on this map. I'm not gonna lie. That, that was that was crazy. Alright, guys, last match of the video. We actually got Oasis here, so we can try the strategy on Oasis. So I'm excited for this. Um yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. They're starting with their alchemist right there. Fair enough. We'll start with my um Churchill, of course. Which I think I know the placement for Sentai Churchill on this map. It's actually, you actually have a really good placement for it, too. So this is a good map for the strategy. Um, one more income boost, I'll be able to get him down. So they're probably going, they might be going Ninja Elk Eco, they might go going Ninja Elk Farm. I don't know exactly. Can I do this without leaking? That'd be pretty epic if I can. I think I have to boost to not leak. Boost. I don't want to leak, bro. Uh, put it on first, put it on first. Nice. Okay. We didn't leak. We didn't leak. Just because there's a chance they have in the eco strategy or something, and they might GG me around 40 or whatever. So I'd really not want to leak here, if possible. All right. Get my farm down now. Get my farm down here. I'm chilling now. I might have been able to do that without boosting, to be honest. I probably had not the best Sentai Churchill targeting. It might have been possible to do that without boosting. Leakless. Greater production. Nice. Force a leak on their side real quick. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Upgrade the farm. Oh, they have farm here. Okay. Well, I don't even think they can survive to around 40 with Ninja Elk farm on this map. So I shouldn't be concerned then. I don't think there's much of a worry here. We'll get my engineer down right here. We're chilling, we're chilling. Keep on farming. I still want to stay leakless though, just because it's cool to stay leakless. So we will over defend a little bit. Like I could probably leak there to the white balloons and not get up the sentry gunner or the sentry. This engineer, what am I saying? This engineer. But um, yeah, still stay leakless because I want to have a life advantage. You know, GG round forwarding is a fun thing to do. So if we have that ability, we'll take it. You know, we'll take it. Start saving up for this plant now. Start to save up for that plantation. You know what I'm saying, guys. One more income boost above. We'll get it up. All right, we got it up. Perfect. We'll get that valuable nanners up here pretty soon. Nice. We'll upgrade this to centuries. Nice. We'll send them Zebra Eco next round. They're sending me Zebras. I think I'll be chilling against this. Hopefully no leaks. Yeah, we don't leak against that. That's the Sentry Gunner on top of the Churchills just helps out so much there. I'm not going to lie. It helps out a lot. Sprockets. If they send me a round 11 rush, I'll just boost against it. Probably. Now we get up Sentry. 
Expert, nice. We'll save up for the foam. Perfect. Keep ecoing here. We're full vibing. Yeah, awesome. No complaints. This game has gone pretty much as well as I thought it would. Pretty much as well as I'd want for the start. Maybe I would have been able to avoid that boost round one. There's a possibility there. But we boosted round one and it's okay. You know, sometimes you gotta you gotta use that boost sometimes, you know what I mean guys? I just got that pin on this. That helps out a lot. What is is this sentry gunner like doing anything? What's this one do? I don't even know. I don't know like what the Oh no. Why am I like dying? What is going on? That was weird. It wasn't even like any strong balloons. Like I don't get it. Sometimes this this upgrade can defend like regrow rainbows like nothing, but then it like almost leaks to AI like that. So I don't understand really. Why sometimes the Sentry Expert is so good, and then sometimes it's just terrible. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense, ladies and gentlemen. But we'll just keep it going. The downside of this map, which I didn't talk about yet, compared to Thin Ice, is that I can't really use Balloon Trap. Like, if I place a Balloon Trap, he's just going to eco into it, and then it's not going to pick up very many AI balloons, and it won't make me much money. So, obviously, I'm going to get a lot better farms on... um thin ice since the balloon trap will make you a ton of money but this map i can't really go for a balloon trap as long as they're ecoing like if they stop ecoing eventually i can go for one but as long as they're ecoing it's not going to be worthwhile for me to go for it and that's just how it is that's just how the ship sails guys but my eco's solid i'm happy with that Um, we'll probably... Do I even... No, I don't think I even upgrade this farm. I think I just start saving up for the BRF at this point. Yeah. That's definitely the move. We'll start to taper off my eco, though. Go to Black Balloon Eco. Till, till I hit, like, 2100, and then we'll just save up for the BRF. As long as there's still leak going, I'm not going for the trap. It's like the opposite of how it used to be, bro. Before, like, if they're eco and you go for the trap, that's amazing, because you're just going to make a lot of money. But now... It's like, no, you don't want to get the trap up. Oh, I already already passed 2100 eco. Oh, well, we'll stop right there. They're still going okay. And the thing is, they could say, oh, Ryan, if you go for your trap, they might just continue eking indefinitely. And that's true, but it's not really good to eco past like round 22, 23. It's not efficient at all. So if I can force them to continue ecoing like that late in the game, Instead of putting their money into farms, that actually is kind of good for me. So, it can also be a benefit to that, as crazy as it might seem. They're still ecoing, though. So, this guy's going crazy with his eco. If I'm trying to GG the round 40, though, maybe I should go for a lot of eco, actually, now that I think about it. If I'm trying to get some, like, round 40 action going. But, we'll, we'll get up my 5th tier farms first, before I go for any more eco. We'll get a 5th tier farm. They just don't have a 4th tier farm up. But they've got a lot of eco, so I mean, they got that going for them. We're good against that. Okay, they got their BRF up. Well done. I don't think they're ecoing right now. I can see when I collect my trap how much money gives me. It was 1,200. Yeah, they're not ecoing. They're not ecoing. No! I suck, bro. Oh my gosh. How did I mess that up? I sold the wrong farm, brother. Well, we can overclock it this round, though, which is nice. So we're chilling. Yeah, that's... I shouldn't have messed that up so bad, bro. I'm throwing low-key. Low-key. BRF up now. Perfect. We'll go for more eco now. Now that I have that 5th tier farm up, I want to go for a little bit more eco. Probably go to like 3k or something. Because I am trying to GG around 40, so I will max out my farms eventually this game. But I'm not going to... Um, once I max out my farms, how am I going to make more money, you know? I only make it through eco, so I do want to get some more eco here. This trap's making me some solid money, though. I've already made 7,200 from it, so that's definitely good. 
No. I am choking so hard, bro. I'm telling you right now. I'm making so many mistakes. I should have overclocked that sent that monkey wall street and i didn't get it oh no 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 don't 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 leak okay we're good this is not very clean gameplay guys i'm sorry i'm sorry this isn't the best showing right now i mean we're still in a good position don't get me wrong it's just i've made a lot of mistakes we'll get my beer up up here in a second how much to sell for 30k wait I can't get my BRF up yet, but we'll get it here in a second. This gets the overclock, right? Bro, no way! Look how unlucky I'm getting, bro. I swear, this is, this is the most unlucky I've been in a long time. Oh my gosh. I'm getting so unlucky with my farm, like my farm timing and overclock timing and stuff this game. Okay. We're chilling now, we're chilling. Let's get 3,000 eco here. Round 28, are they going to send me a rush? It doesn't appear so. I, w I didn't expect them to, to be honest. Oh, I got to keep overclocking these things. Okay, got those overclocked. Nice. Can I fit any more farms? I can fit one right there, apparently. Yep, there it is. Perfect. And I can fit one more. Where was it? Let me move you so I can maybe find it. Why does it not even move it? Oh, it's because I'm moving it too far. Right there. Perfect. All right. Well, we'll see how this plays out. I definitely made a lot of mistakes this game, but... We're still not in a bad spot, you know? So, we're okay. We're okay. Maybe I go for a little triple XL trap action just to make some money from AI here. Because I'll make a lot of money from AI from this, actually. If he doesn't rush me. And it can it can also pop, um, freaking... It can pop ZMGs from, like, BADs that they send, too. So, I mean, there's more uses for it. What did I just overclock? I don't even know. Not the thing I was going for, though. We want to go for a lot of overclocks just because we'll be overclocking dark champs for my defense. That'll be my defense of structure. Overclock dark champs. Oh, target this. So not eats it. Nice. Another dark champ. Perfect. 7,500. See, that's what I'm talking about. This guy, this guy makes you a lot of money from this AI, these AI rounds if you keep them up. So it's definitely worth to get this guy up for these rounds. 7,500 per collect is pretty big. I don't know when they plan on rushing me. I would have thought they would have sent like an early BAD to try to force me to sell some farms, but they didn't. So that was interesting. Overclock this again. I'm going to go for a temple. Just a normal temple though. Not a... um. Not a... What's it called? A uh, true sun god. Uh, just a support temple real quick. We'll go for one of those. And I want to get still 50,000 sacks on them. I don't know if it's 50,000 or 30,000 to be honest, guys. I've heard both. I've heard both, okay? So I'm not sure. But this time we'll go for 50,000 just to be safe. All right. I'm not going to go for True Sun God, though. True Sun God's not going to be worth, but Normal Temple might be worth here. Keep overclocking, you guys. Nice. Place down some Super Monkeys. Want to put some of these on Strong, too? Alright. How much has this made me? 37,000 already. Yeah, that's, that's really good, because I can sell it, too, for more money later. But I don't even know if I want to sell it. Like, that could be a decent defensive tower to keep in here. Let's 
All right, he's rushing me. We'll boost. We're good. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. TBH. I don't think this defends. I'm dead. I'm dead. GG, bro. Ah, oh, this strategy doesn't work on this map. It's if it was thin ice, I would have so much more money to defend. But it's not thin ice, so we tried. We tried. It was a valiant effort at the end of the day, but you can only do so much, ladies and gentlemen. If it was thin ice, I can defend that because I'm gonna have a lot more farms to sell for Dark Knights. But there's just not enough farm space on that map for um. There's not enough farm space on the map. So you get up enough dark champs to defend stuff like that. And you don't get the balloon trap income.